Today we do the biggest rush repair on this old SLK 230. Drop a comment and let me know how well you think I did. So now the final major rush repair, this corner right here. I think this is the biggest, um, biggest one so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bend this piece of sheet steel, it's 1.2, to make this shape. And I'm going to do a cut out along there and down there. Um, so I've got a few bends to make in this. I'm going to use a hammer and a piece of metal to try and bend it. And then for this curved bit I'll use a couple of pliers. But let's do that now. So that sits there. So here it is. Use the hammer and uh, metal bollard to get this shaped how it is. And you can see it's a pretty good fit. So now I am going to cut this off and I'm going to cut it up to there, which means I don't need to put this curvy bit into the metal. So it can be tack welded straight up there, just this bend here and a nice curve round. So I'm going to cut all of this out now and then make sure this shape matches as close, closely as possible and then weld it in. As you can see, on these first cuts, I'm being careful not to remove too much material and keep the repair local to the problem area. Afterwards, I'll go around making smaller cuts as required. The first thing I try to do is get the curved section of my repair patch sitting on the curved section of the sill. And as you can see, there was a small piece of metal in my way, so I just trimmed that out and it started to sit just right. And guys, please excuse the fact I'm missing half my glove. I didn't really need that half anyway. And now I'm just going to go around and make some small cuts so all the faces of the repair patch can meet the sill nice and straight. I'm aiming for about a half mil gap the whole way around consistently in order to get my weld nice and strong and a good penetration hopefully without the blowing through that we saw in the previous episode. Here I'm using a thin straight bit of steel to mark out where to cut the lower edge. And now I'm just nipping off tiny little edges the whole way around on both the patch and the sill just to get it sitting just right. So after a lot of uh, trimming of this piece, I think I've got it almost there now. It sits quite nicely against all the edges. Um, now I just have to do this front bit here. Um, as you can see it bends around, so I need to check the other side and see what this does. Here's the other side, and as you can see, there's a little bit of a cutout from the uh, bracing so that this bit can bend around. So I'm going to try and achieve that with this piece. Right, so I am very happy with this piece now. It fits in very nicely and then even curves around at the front. So now I am going to clean up the weld area, make sure I get rid of all the seam sealer. Um, apparently it causes porosity in the weld, so make sure I clean that right back and then I can put some more sealer on once I'm done. But clean that seam sealer, clean up all the rest of this, and then yep, yeah, I'm ready to weld. So that's my welding area cleared up. Now I just need somewhere to ground the welder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove a bit of the um, under seal here so I can put my grounding clamp there nice and close to the weld so it's not going to go into any of the electronics. Um, and obviously I've unplugged the battery as well. So as you can see, it was just absolutely spitting everywhere. So I'm not sure if that's being caused by any of this dust being left behind, but either way, I need to clean this off and make sure all the surface is clean, and I'll have another go at going around and welding it if there's any gaps in it. But that is not good. 
Okay, so I've just cleaned it all up and all off. So the metal is bowing out slightly. I think that's just because of the heat that's been put into it. But I can push it back in so it's nice in line. Uh, up here, I'm going to try and weld this first. Um, now I've cleaned up the edges. Hopefully it's not going to spit like it was down here. So here it is, final repair, and I'm pretty happy with this. I think I should go around once more with the welder because there's a few um, places I've missed. So I couldn't do runs because the metal gets too hot and then starts um, burning through and melting. So I was doing little bits and bobs and the I had a bit of a wire feed problem when I was going from the bottom. The wires didn't want to come out um, smoothly. So there were kind of dribs and drabs and a few, uh, few spots I've missed. So I'm just going to go over that, clear that up, and then this is done. I think it looks pretty pretty good, pretty stock to me. So now it's time for the last bit of sealing on this car. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the wheel arch. So everywhere that is bare metal that I've cleared away, that's where we're going to start sealing it, especially the screws. And then down on the sill. Inside of here we're going to use some underbody sealer and just spray that in there on the bare metal that we've welded in. On the outside we're going to use tiger seal again. And then I've just cleared up some of the jacking points here. So I'm going to seal these up while I'm at it. And I've got rid of most of the rust out there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, smash that like button. And if you got this far through the video, consider dropping a subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm only a small channel. And in the next episode, we are going to start getting the front wings back on this car. Which, you know, is going to make it look so much better.